was so good. Oh wow, this was action packed. You're all I ever wanted. Oh. I feel like I should know this, but I don't. It's definitely a 90s boy band. I just, it's, mm. Wait, I know them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And sync. Wait, 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 wait. That's in sync. I love it. Oh. Definitely old. <laughs> I, it's hard for me to watch this music video without laughing. So, that's... JT, right? The only person I know here is Justin Timberlake. The harmony! Oh, God. Some pretty good dance moves. I like the sick dance moves. 90s boy bands seem much better than today's boy band. I was like thinking of all the bands that my mom listens to. I was like, okay, we already did the Backstreet Boys. I know who they are. Like, we <laughs> they even reacted to me. I love how passionate they are. We're We're very very passionate. You have to be passionate to be a boy band. So I was like, wait, is it in sync? It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you. And when we are apart, I feel it too. I like this. Dang, their choreo is so good. Got synchronized dances. <laughs> it's not that bad. Wait, how long ago was this? I just, look, they sat down on my knees and they really went down on their knees. Dang, come on, give me my feels right now. I never actually listened to their music, but it's not half bad. He's wearing a, like, a beanie with ski goggles on it. He's indoors. I love the 90s. Oh, they're puppets now, okay. I've heard this song before, for sure. It's so cute. It's so old school. I mean, I don't know why they didn't stick with like the puppet idea. That was cool. But then they're on a train. I love this song. It's so good. <laughs> the little lean. I know that I know this song. Like this one's popular. Bye, bye, bye. Wow, this is cool. I like how they did this one. I don't really want to see terrible dancing and terrible editing anymore. Whoa, you kind of caught me off guard with that hip thrust. Over the top dance moves, you know, totally 90s. I still don't know what band this is and it's like ticking me off a little bit. Oh, he's trapped now. Oh no. Respect for the director, cause this is like so creative and original. Gotta wait, wait for the chorus. Every little thing I do. I really like this. It's cool. I was just listening to old songs last night, so I'm in this vibe again. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow, this is action packed. <laughs> what? That's a great video. Also, R.I.P. Toys R Us. Songs are, they're all the same to me, really. The music videos are getting better. Oh, he shaved his head. Hopefully soon. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this song. I like it, but I've never heard this. Joy for tone, joy for tone. That's all that matters. Come on now. It's like a new style, kind of, for them. This is early 2000s now. You can tell, you can tell the shift. It's almost a little bit modern. Respect, NSYNC was great. I never planned on listening to them, but 
I guess I'm glad I got it out of the way. You can appreciate it in a slightly ironic and slightly like unironic way at the same time. In sync is nothing without Joey Fatone. It's got that that coolness about it. So those are all songs by the boy band In Sync. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. In Sync and the Backstreet Boys. Just main staples of the 90s. So we're talking about them today because this year marks the 20th anniversary of them forming all the way back in 1998. Oh wow, I thought they were like 80s or 70s. Before we talk a little bit more about them, not too long ago the teens reacted to the Backstreet Boys and we asked if they could figure out each of their names by just looking at their faces and so we're gonna do the same with NSYNC. <laughs> oh no. I think I'll do better than I did with the Backstreet Boys. So there's Chris, Joey, Lance, JC, and of course Justin. Classic white boy names. Let's do this. I think right. I'll do all right. Here's the first person. Who's this? That is JC. Possibly Joey? What's a good dreadlock name? <laughs> Maybe that's Lance. Yeah, everyone's Joey. I could see him being a, a JC. I want to say that's either JC or Chris. I'll say that's JC. JC. Really edgy name. JC. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe JC. Here's the next person. Who's this? That He looks like a Chris. I'm gonna go with Chris, he looks like a Chris. Joey? Is that Justin? His eyes scream Justin. I'm probably wrong already. He looks like a Lance. That looks like Lance. Let's go with Lance because I really don't know. That's Lance. That's Lance. Next up, who's this? I'm gonna go with Chris. I'm getting like a, either a Chris or a Lance vibe. I only have to go with Lance. Oh crap, okay. He looks like a Chris, Lance. Cause I feel like Lance is the type of name where you could dye your hair. Say that's Chris. I know for a fact you're really disappointed in me because I'm getting all of these wrong. That's Joey. It's all guessing at this point. That's Joey. I know for sure. I hope. That's Joey. He was on Hannah Montana. That's definitely Joey. My main man, Joey. He's the coolest guy out of all of them. All right, next up, who's this? That's... Joey. That's Justin. I don't know why. He's gonna be the Lance. The way he's dressed, maybe. Screams Lance. Chris. Because that's the last option I have besides Justin. He's a Joey character, for sure. Joey. It was just the last choice, because I knew Justin was going to be the fifth one. Joey. There's only room for, for Chris and Justin, and I know that's not Justin. He looks somewhat like Justin, but at the same time, there's so many members in this band that just look like different versions of other members in the band that I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna go with JC. And here's picture number five. What's my last one? Joey? Okay, yeah, he's, this, this, this works. Joey, my main man for tone. I guess that's JC. It's my homeboy, Justin. Who that? That's Justin. That's Justin. That one has to be Justin. Yeah, that one's Justin. Okay, that's one. First up, this was, Chris. Aww. Okay, wrong. It doesn't look like a Chris. <laughs> We're not doing so well. The next one has to be Lance. If it's not, then I got all of them wrong. This one is Lance. Yes, I'll go with him. That's Lance? I was gonna put him as Lance, but then I was like, no, Justin works. Hey, I got that one right. Oh, I got Lance. This is Joey. No way. Uh, uh huh, I knew Joey. That's Joey. That's definitely Joey. This is JC. What the heck? I got JC wrong. Whoops. 40% <laughs> score. And this is Justin. Is it actually? Yes. That does not look like him. It would've been really bad if I got all of them wrong. I just put Joey for everyone, so it didn't matter. That's Timberlake, right? That's Justin Timberlake. I know, I feel really dumb. <laughs> Technically, we failed, but it's okay, it's okay. We got the majority. I knew Justin and Joey, but I actually guessed Lance. I'm pretty good at this guessing game, I guess. I guess. So NSYNC is considered one of the best-selling boy bands of all time, having sold over 70 million records despite just releasing three albums. What? No way. They only did three albums? Are you serious? <laughs> I feel like they did more. While NSYNC has had a number of hits over the years, for some people in today's generation, they are more remembered for launching the career of Justin Timberlake, one of the biggest artists and entertainers in the world today. Arguably. For people your age, do you guys think of NSYNC as its own entity, or is that just the group that brought us JT? I think both. Because there are definitely songs that I heard that I think, oh, this is like NSYNC. I'm not thinking like, oh, this is a Justin Timberlake song. I just know of like NSYNC. Like I only think of it as them. Younger kids, like they don't necessarily know about that. Like they don't always listen to older music. So they'd know like Justin Timberlake. Even as someone who was not alive during that time, um, I still remember NSYNC as NSYNC. I just think of Justin Timberlake, you know? I don't really think of NSYNC because how could I really why would I care? I always saw NSYNC as kind of like, oh, that was the boy band that Justin Timberlake was in. It's pretty much always the group that made this person popular. You kind of feel bad for the rest of the members because they don't get really 
enough credit. So finally, like many groups that have split up, NSYNC has reunited for guest appearances and small little performances over the years. Uh, however, they've not made any new music since 2002. Do you think that people would actually be excited for new music from NSYNC, or is this a group that 100% should stay in the past. Um, I don't think they should remain in the past. They should release some music. There's fans out there that still want to listen to their music. They should stick with singing their old songs because that's what everybody knows. I feel like they would just stay in the past. They're just kind of like nostalgia. They're famous for being in that band and like what else did they have to do? They might as well come back and just like spend some time writing music together. If they did a, a brand new album, people would like the idea of it, but I don't, I don't think as many people would listen. Boy bands are actually so pretty popular, um, so I definitely think that they would be pretty well off. It feels like a product of the 90s, but I think that it could be even more successful. Thanks for watching Teens React. Shout out to Kira S. and Hannah Young. If you don't want to be tearing out my heart, subscribe and hit the bell. What do you think of NSYNC? Let us know in the comments. Bye, 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 bye. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Teens React. And if you want to check out more from NSYNC's YouTube channel, you should go click on that right over there. Bye, guys.